All right, this is the beast. This is gonna be our official gear breakdown for you guys. Got our send it, Jerry. Uh, we got our GoPro right here, the GoPro 9. That's what we used to film the trip with. Stayed right here the whole time. Uh, I took it off occasionally and filmed what I needed to. Let's see. Start over here. Over here, this is where I kept all of my extra clothes. A nice little dry sack. My Arc'teryx pants. These are Gore-Tex Infinium. So they're, for the most part, waterproof. Uh, it's Gore-Tex fabric, but they're not seam sealed. So it's not completely waterproof, but it gets the job done. Two pairs of bike shorts. These are my sunny everyday pants, some Prana adventure pants. North Face puffy jacket. This is an REI like mid layer. It was it was great. Socks, long sleeve socks, hat. Shirts, extra shirts, extra socks. Uh, got some straps right here. My license plate and a bike light. Super important to have. In here, in this Ortlib rear pack. I've got my sleeping pad, and then wah, my sleeping bag. That's all I have in there. Of course, this rear rack wasn't there on the trip. Uh, we just added that because we're going to need it on our next trip. So that takes care of the back. We have underneath the seat, we have a little medical kit. Just pull that out. Little day hike kit. It's good for two people for one day. Inside of that, I put some rolls of duct tape uh, and then some mole skin. Super valuable. For those long days where your shoes are just eating up into your feet. And then in here, we have a spare tube and some tire changing tools. We got two of these and then got a spare tube in there. I only carried one spare tube on this trip, but in the future, uh, I think I'm gonna carry two. It's a lot safer. And then let's see. In here, in here we have some gear ties, some zip ties extra cinching strap. This is a Crank Brothers multi-tool. Super useful. Some chain lube. Cell phone. This is my favorite shell of the trip. This is my Arc'teryx Norvin. It's got some Prima Loft inside and then the outside is complete Gore-Tex, so completely waterproof and windproof, which was absolutely essential for the trip. Toothbrush, toothpaste, some extra straps, hand warmers, another hand warmer, bike lock, some gloves, Really important. Bike pump.
All right, and here's my Revlet design frame bag. In here is my gas tank. I've got snacks, snacks, some goo, snacks, clip bar, do more goo, pro bar, pro bar. And that's just kind of my on the go food. And this is my Revlet designed gas tank bag. And then right here I have a speaker with a gear tie, just attaching it to the little bag up here. This came in really handy on the trip when you're just going through those long slogs and you're bored as hell on the bike and you just need some music or something to get you through. All right, in my feed bags, I have two water bottles, uh, but occasionally the water bottles would be replaced with gummy bears or other glorious snacks. On the trip, I brought two of these noon sport little tubes each one houses 10 little tablets and they're a great source of electrolytes. Pretty tasty too. I used the strawberry lemonade flavor and I really liked it. Uh, an essential knife. This was a lifesaver. Ultra Sport uh, Banana Boat SPF 50 lip balm. All right, these are my two Revelate Design feed bags. Highly recommend them on a trip. The amount of crap that I could carry up in the, the cockpit was amazing. Extremely useful on the trip. All right, up here is where I kept the GPS and the stove. So I just used my Garmin Phoenix 3 as a GPS. That's how I tracked us. And then some woolly straps. And then inside this little salsa bag, I've got some matches. And then inside here, I have my pocket rocket. Fantastic little stove. It's got everything you need. It's got propane in there, some more matches, a little container. My MSR pocket rocket. It's a great light stove. All right, down here, I have some hydration. I've got a Nalgene, some straps. Right here, I have my bear spray, because I like to keep it handy. You're riding along and you see something and you're like, oh, a bear. I always have bear spray or something to that effect. All right, now over here, I have a sit pad. I did not use this at all on the trip. Uh, I will probably not be bringing it on the next trip. And it was a real pain in the wind, as I'm sure you saw it flapping everywhere. All right, I have some Ortlib packs up here. In this front pack, I have the Garmin InReach. Some TP. Extra pair of sunglasses. Power supplies. This is a 40,000 milliamps that I brought with me. Ended up being way overkill for the trip, but I don't have too much. Uh, some cords, charging the GoPros and all the accessories. All right, and this is my Ortlib little five liter front pack. In here, I kept the tent. Yeah, so we used the MSR Access 2 on the trip and it was great. It held up to the wind and did its job. Love that tent. It's a great tent. So right here, I have my Ortlib front pack. Little panda. And then right here I have my Lumina 1200 boost headlamp. These are the two front bars that I used instead of Baryak. Baryak's amazing, but I couldn't justify the $400 price tag. So these little bad boys were 20 bucks. Did the job amazing. All right, on this side, I had the drone. I just put this drone in a little waterproof bag to keep it safe. And then for a drone, I used the DJI Air 2. Super lightweight, shoots 4K, amazing drone. It's not so good in the wind, but nothing was really gonna fly out there with 40 mile an hour winds, so it's okay. All right, I've got some more hydration up here. Get rid of these straps. 
So these are some Pearl Izumi bike packing shoes that I used for the trip with some uh, crank weather clips. They worked pretty well. This is the helmet. This is great. I really enjoyed the sunglasses being able to just clip here and clip here and get out of the way if you don't need them. Uh, one downside was that on this trail, the dust would go underneath the sunglasses and at the end of every day, my eyes would just be bloodshot. All right, now for the backpack. So I did wear a backpack on this trip. I had way too much stuff to bring. Uh, I kept my Lumina 250 Solus flashlight on the back. Helps people see me because I've got so much crap on the rear end of the bike. The light tends to get lost. This is where I kept most of my food. So I've got nine of these freeze-dried meals. There are plenty of chances on the trip where we could buy food from a restaurant or Safeway or stores like that. So that's why we didn't bring food for every single meal of the trip. In the brain, I have my Petzl 900 lumen headlamp. And then a spork for eating these freeze-dried meals. And then some more charging stuff and more GoPro batteries. And that's the backpack. And finally, this is my 15, I believe 15 liter Ortlib waterproof bag on the back. Get that off of there. And yeah, this is the bike. It's a Linsky fat bike. I'm running my other brother Daryl rims with some Jumbo Gym tires. Uh, it's running Shimano Dior XT brakes and shifting system. 43 tooth cassette. This bike got the job done. I wouldn't change anything on it. So yeah, this is the gear breakdown for what I rode on the dusty trail. I hope you enjoyed it and get out and have fun.